So now we are discussing the two protocols which are under the sliding window ARQ. The first protocol is go back and ARQ. And the second protocol we are having is selective reject ARQ. So talking about go back and ARQ, whenever we are going back to the N packets and retransmitting those packets, then this is called go back N. Then talking about the selective reject, if we are selectively rejecting some packets, that is called the selective reject ARQ. Now to understand this protocol more, first of all, I am taking the go back and ARQ for the damaged frames. So now we are having a diagram. Here we are discussing the go back and ARQ with the damaged frame. Now how the go back and ARQ will work for the damaged frame we are understanding. Let us suppose that we are having a sender and a receiver. Now these two are connected with the line and the sender is sending the data to the receiver. We know that it is a sliding window protocol. So we don't have to wait for every acknowledgement. We are having the multiple data packets here. Let us suppose packet zero, it is sending. Now this packet is sent. It is received by the receiver. It is sending another data packet one to the receiver. Again, that data packet is received at the receiver side. Data packet two is sending. So it is keep on sending without waiting for the acknowledgement. Now, until it was sending the data packet three into the medium, the receiver side have received these three packets. Now these three packets are received, which is 0, 1 and 2. Now the receiver initiated the acknowledgement of above three packets and it is sending the reply. So here the reply of above three packets are sent. And now you can see that the reply is received when sender already sent the four packets because sender is sending the packets together multiple packets at a time so until the acknowledgement of three packets received sender already sent the four packets so here the four packets are reached now thing is that in the packet number three this was the packet number three this packet was reaching at this position now there was some error in that packet so error in frame number three. So this frame when reached to the destination, there was an error. So here the receiver initiated the NAK. NAK means negative acknowledgement for three, third packet. Third packet means sequence number three starting from zero. So in three it is sending the negative acknowledgement. So negative acknowledgement also takes some time to reach to the sender. Until the negative acknowledgement reached to the sender sender already transmitted few packets so you can see that data packet 5 that was already transmitted now what the receiver will do receiver already sent the negative acknowledgement so after sending the negative acknowledgement of third packet now when the fourth packet is reached here now this fourth packet is discarded means it will not receive it the fifth packet which was already sent which was into the medium that was also discarded means receiver is saying that i want the third packet until sender is not sending the third packet the receiver is going to discard the further packets and you can see that this negative acknowledgement received there at this particular time so there the negative acknowledgement is received at that particular time and you can see that earlier acknowledgement was for three packets that means receiver already informed to sender that these three packets i have received that was sent by the acknowledgement acknowledgement received at that time now what the go back and will do here we are having the negative acknowledgement at this place now it will go back n go back n means here we get the negative acknowledgement we are going till back n means 3 so here we are going till the 3 which was the corrupted frame so this is the going back n means going till the n now all those n frames let us suppose 3 frame or 4 frame in case of that center already transmitted fifth frame fourth frame and third frame which was corrupted 
so these frames are recent you can see that these three frames are recent so this is retransmitted again so three four and five now the receiver can receive the frame number three frame number four and frame number five because the frame number three was corrupted so receiver already discarded the other packets now these packets are again retransmitted so there the main part is that going back to the n means going back to the n number of packets where it was corrupted so this is called the go back in arq in terms of the damaged frames now we are discussing the next go back in arq which is the lost data frame now we are discussing the go back in arq for the lost data frame if our data frame is lost now we can see that there is a sender and the receiver and these two are connected with each other and the sender is sending the data to the receiver we are working on the sliding window arq that means sliding window is sending the multiple packets together without waiting for the acknowledgement so here you can see that the sender is sending the packet 0 then packet 1 packet 2 packet 3 so it is keep on sending packet 4 so this way the sender is keep on sending the packets now what is going on the other side the receiver already received the data packet 0 not a problem data packet 1 again not a problem but here the packet number 2 was lost in the transmission maybe because of congestion or the network error or maybe any of the problem the packet number 2 is lost now what the receiver will do afterward receiver was deciding that there is a packet loss when when it receive a packet number three so this packet number three when it receive so it see that is a packet number three discard it because i was waiting for the packet number two so receiver discard the packet number three and it immediately send a negative acknowledgement nak for packet two because packet two was supposed to be there but it is not reached so it sent a negative acknowledgement until that negative acknowledgement reach to the sender sender already sent few packets you can see that problem was with the packet number two data packet two it was lost in the communication and when the sender is aware sender become aware when it already sent the packet three and four so this packet was already sent three and four and the problem with the packet packet number two so this was the problem now because the communication is continuous sender is keep on sending so sender must aware at that time that oh the three packets i have already sent now what happened sender will go back and go back and means starting from when the negative acknowledgement comes here till it will go back n until those n packets when the negative acknowledgement arrive you can see that negative acknowledgement is for the packet number two so till the packet number two it is going back n and it retransmit all these packets so packet number two three and four these are retransmitted you can see that two three and four these are retransmitted again and now the receiver can receive the packets receiver was waiting for the packet two now receiver received the data packet two the data packet three and four so whenever our data frame is lost in the transmission then this is how the go back and arq deal with the lost data frame now we are discussing the go back and arq for the lost acknowledgement now we are discussing the go back and arq and this is for the lost acknowledgement when the acknowledgement is lost now we can see that in the diagram we are having a sender and the receiver sender is sending the data to the receiver we know that sender can send the multiple frames at a time now what is the size of window at the size of window sender can send those particular packets now whenever sender started the communication there now packet 0 is sent packet 1 is sent packet 2 is sent so this way sender is going to send a packet until the size of window is achieved now the size of window is completely contracted 
afterwards sender cannot send more packets sender will wait for the acknowledgement we already know that sender is equipped with a timer whenever sender started the communication here the timer started now timer is keep on going and here till the time out the sender wait so this one is a time out and for that sender wait that i should receive the acknowledgement means the funda is that the sender is keep on sending data packets once the window size is completely contracted sender will wait for now the acknowledgement what is going at the receiver side so at the receiver side receiver already received data 0 data packet 1 and the data packet 2 not a problem so now the receiver is going to send the acknowledgement of these three packets these are the three packets so receiver just maintain a acknowledgement of above three frames and it is going to send to the sender but problem happen that acknowledgement lost in between so this was the lost of acknowledgement that means acknowledgement never reached to the sender sender was waiting for the acknowledgement but the acknowledgement is not received so say here the time out happen so once the time out happen now sender aware that either my packets are not reached to the destination or there is a acknowledgement lost so now once the time is out again from the last packet the last packet was sent was packet number 2 from this sender will go back and go back and means going back to the n packets where the timer started so timer started at packet number 0 so it is going back n and it resend all those packets data 0 data 1 and data 2 so these three packets are again sent because sender is aware either these packets are lost or the acknowledgement is lost so because of that there is some problem in the communication now sender is going to retransmit those packets and now the receiver get the packet 0 data packet 1 and data packet 2 now the receiver is having the same copy of these packets and receiver can discard the duplicate copies of this packets so this is how the go back and arq work for the lost acknowledgement now we are discussing the selective reject arq for the damaged data frame now we are discussing the selective reject arq in terms of damage data frame damage frame or damage data frame frame both are having the same meaning now selective reject if we compare with the go back end in the go back end we are transmitting all the packets from the error packet till we have sent in the selective reject we are only resending the selective packets which are having the problem now to understand this please pay the attention on the diagram so here we are having a sender and the receiver sender is sending the data to the receiver here sender is sending the data data 0 data 1 data 2 now the data 3 data 4 data 5 so sender is keep on sending the data to the receiver at the receiver side we have received the data 0 data 1 but when we receive the data 2 then this data 2 was the damaged frame it was the corrupted so that frame was actually not reached because of the corruption so that packet 2 is having the problem now receiver prepare a negative acknowledgement nak2 means in the second packet sequence number second 0 1 and 2 so second one is having the problem now this one negative acknowledgement is reached to the sender until sender send the five packets already now it is not like go back and that it is going to start from here till the two it is sending all the packets no the sender is aware that only problem with the packet number 2 was there so sender will only transmit the packet number 2 it will not keep on sending the other packets like the go back and and also talking about the receiver side the receiver is not going to discard the other packets when the receiver is sending the negative acknowledgement afterward it is keep on receiving the other packets packet 3 packet 4 packet 5 
earlier we have seen in the go back n once the receiver send a negative acknowledgement their receiver discard the further packets but it is not there in to selective reject in the selective reject it simply give the negative acknowledgement for packet 2 afterward it, it is keep on receiving the other packets similarly at the sender side sender is not going to send the all the packets it will retransmit only one packet which is having the problem so here the sender is aware that the problem with the packet 2 so packet 2 is retransmitted so only the packet number 2 is resend and that is taken by the receiver so this packet number 2 is received whose negative acknowledgement was earlier sent so if we compare the go back n and the selective reject in the go back n we are keep on sending all those n packets from where the error comes till the packet we have sent here if we talk about the selective reject here we are only sending the packet which is having the problem so that is all about the two protocols go back n and selective reject arq of the sliding window arq